I often see a lot of Roland users asking questions like, how do I restore a factory preset kit that I've overwritten without doing a full module reset? Or, I like the kits that I've bought from your store, but the pad setup is different to mine, how do I swap them around? And so on. The answer to these and some other common questions can often be found in the copy menu on your Roland module, and there's a hidden layer of flexibility in this menu that I think often goes overlooked. Welcome back to the eDrum Workshop, I'm Luke and I hope you're having a great day. Once again I'm still working remotely so I thought that this would be the right opportunity to tackle a topic like this, where the functionality is pretty simple but possibly not always used to its full potential. And it is a feature that unfortunately does vary from module to module and generation to generation. I'll be focusing on the current generation for this video, so that's the role in TD07, TD17, TD27, TD50 and TD50X modules. If you have a module from an older generation, a lot of this might still apply too, so if you do spot a feature in here that you've seen in your module, it's pretty likely that it works similarly, but there could be some differences in the details. To begin with, the copy menu is exactly what it sounds like. It's a menu that lets you copy various things in your module. In its most basic form, there's the kit copy copy function which lets you copy a kit from one kit slot to another. We'll start here because that's all there is on the TD07 and TD17 modules and then I'll elaborate for each module after this. So on the TD07 it's not actually a proper menu, it's one option under the kit edit menu. So you select the kit copy from the kit edit menu and then you choose which kit slot you want to copy from, which slot you want to copy to and then you confirm it to copy the kit. On the TD17, this is located under the other button menu. You go down to the bottom of this menu, select copy, and then you can select which kit slot to copy your kit from, which kit slot to copy it to, and then you hit the execute button to copy the kit. On the TD27, you can access this same menu by going to kit edit, pressing F5 to access the other menu, and then navigating to copy, hitting enter, and then selecting kit copy with enter. And on the TD50 and TD50X, you can find this menu by holding down shift and hitting the SD key card button to access the copy menu, and then selecting kit copy with enter. Making copies of your kits can be a great way to experiment with that kit's settings without accidentally ruining the original version of that kit. So far, pretty straightforward. However, there are some additional options on this menu that I believe a lot of people miss. The first of which is really handy if you do accidentally ruin an original version of a kit, the preset kit copy function. On the 07, this option exists in a slightly different format, and that's the kit reset option. This lets you reset any kit slot that you've edited back to its original factory settings. However, on the TD17, TD27 and TD50 and X modules, if you go over to the preset tab with the function buttons, you can copy any kit out of the module's preset kit memory. So if for example you've replaced one of the factory preset kits with your own user kit, or one from a third party like my store, and then you want to restore that preset kit to any kit slot on your module without doing a full factory reset, you can do that from this section of the menu. So on this preset tab, when you cycle through the kits on the first line, this will be all of the original kits that came on the module in its factory settings. As you can see here on the TD50X that I'm using, these are the first 70 kits, and then after that it's all user kits. The exact configuration will vary for every module. Then you can go down to the second line where it's labelled user and you can select which of the current kit slots on your module you would like to copy this original preset kit to. You can do this on any of the TD17, 27, 50 and 50X modules and it's really useful for restoring individual kits if you've messed around with their settings. Unfortunately, this is where the flexibility ends for the TD07 and the TD17. There are no more options under these menus. On the TD27, the 50 and the 50X, however, there are two more really useful functions under this menu alone. The third tab accessed with the function buttons is the SD card tab. This is another one that I think passes people by. You can copy any kit from a saved backup on your SD card to your module. And this sounds like it's the same function as the one kit load function from the SD card menu, but there is a difference and it becomes useful in its own right. If you do a full module backup from the SD card menu, so that's the backup where everything on your module is saved, all the kit settings, the trigger settings, user samples and so on, this is all stored as one file. These full backup files are usually loaded as a whole when you want to restore your entire module, but you don't have to load the whole thing to access some of the settings. 
You can copy kits or other settings directly out of them with the copy menu, almost as if it's another version of your module that you're just pulling things from. As an example, say that you make a full backup of your module to install a software update. On your backup, you've basically got your entire module, and let's say you've been really busy and you've made 100 user kits yourself. When you've updated your module, you've got to do a factory reset, so you do this, but then you decide that you don't want to load your entire backup again. You want to keep a lot of the factory presets this time round, but you would like to load 10 of your previous kits. This SD card tab on the copy menu is the simplest and quickest way to do it. If you did this with the one kit load menu, you'd have to save every one of those 10 kits as an individual file before you did your backup and then load them. From the SD card tab on the kit copy screen, you can just scroll through your old kits on the previous backup, find the ones that you want and then copy them over. And as I mentioned, there are other settings that you can do this with too, which I'll get to shortly. The last handy setting on this screen is the exchange option. And again, I think this is something that often gets overlooked. I don't think I even spotted it until I'd had my TD50 for a good while. If you just want to swap the order of your kits around without making duplicates, you can use the exchange button instead of the copy button on this menu, and that will swap their positions in the kit list. So if you want all of your favourite kits in slots 1 to 10 without copying them or overwriting the presets that are already in that slot, this is the non-destructive way to do it. You can't use the exchange function on the preset or SD card screens though. It doesn't let you make changes to the factory preset set memory or your SD card backup if it's not loaded. On the TD27 there's one other copy option under the copy menu. And of course it features on the 50 and the 50X as well and that's the pad copy option. Again it's a really simple option that's reasonably self-explanatory. It lets you copy one pad's instrument settings to another pad. You select your source kit for the pad copy, then you select the pad that you want to copy from that kit, then the destination kit and the destination pad on that kit. So for example you could copy a snare pad from one kit to the snare pad of another, you could copy the snare pad from one kit to the auxiliary pad of another, or you could copy one pad to another inside the same kit. And once again you can use the exchange button here instead which makes it much simpler to swap pads around. And this is something that I've tried to highlight in the newest versions of the manuals that come with my kits. If your pad setup doesn't match that of my kit files you can easily swap pads around from this menu without messing up any of the settings. There's another option here as well that gives you some pretty useful flexibility if you're a bit of a kit tweaker. There's an extra line at the bottom labelled copy target where you can choose between what settings get copied. If you select the default option which is with pad eq slash comp it will copy the entirety of the pad settings. So that's the instrument settings, the pad volume and pan settings, the sends for the ambience and overhead functions and the pad eq and the pad compressor settings. If you scroll to the right on this line the next option along is inst slash v edit only. This lets you copy the instrument parameters, volume, panning, ambient sends and whatnot, but it doesn't copy the pad EQ or compressor settings. And this can be really useful if you want to copy an instrument to a kit, but you want it to fit in a bit more with the settings that you've currently got on the destination kit. So that helps things gel a bit more without needing to dive into those settings yourself. The final option in this section is the pad EQ slash comp only setting. And this does the reverse of the last setting. It doesn't copy any of the instrument settings, it just copies the pad EQ and compression settings for that pad. As with the kit copy menu, you also have the preset and SD card tabs on this pad copy menu that you can swap to and copy instruments directly from. So if there's a snare drum that you really like on a factory preset kit or on a kit that's on your SD card's backup file, you can copy it directly from those memories rather than loading the entire kit. And as with the kit copy function, you can't exchange pads with those in the preset or SD card memories, only copy out of them. And just to clarify, since this is different to the one kit save and load functions, you unfortunately can't copy pads directly from individual kits saved on an SD card, just from the ones that are inside a full backup file on the SD card. It's a bit of a shame that they didn't integrate that all in together really, but it is still useful. And unfortunately that's where the copy options end on the TD27. I don't really see why they leave these features out on the lower end modules. Nobody's buying the high end modules specifically for the copy menu functions, so having them on all modules as a standard just makes sense to me, but I digress. If you have a TD50 or TD50X module, there are a bunch of other functions here that can add a lot of flexibility too. And of course some of these can be found on older modules like the TD30 as well, so have a dig around to see what your module can do. So the third 
option on the copy menu screen of the 50 and the 50X is the Inst Set option. This allows you to copy or exchange groups of pads as instrument sets rather than doing it one by one. These are grouped as kick and snare, toms 1 to 4, sim set and auxiliary 1 to 4. So this can be really useful if you want to take all of the toms from one kit and put them onto a new kit or swap around all of the symbols between two kits or things like that. Again you can copy from the preset or SD card memory and you can use those copy target functions here too just for specific settings if you want to. The fourth option along is the set list copy. If you use the set list function on your module you can make copies of those set lists and I suppose this would probably come in really handy if you want to make a few similar set lists with only a couple of changes. If you go down a page to copy menu 2, you get to another set of options that are great for quickly copying over individual functions. You can copy over the pad volume settings from one kit to another, so if you've got all of your pad volumes set up to your tastes on one kit, you can use this option to quickly copy those settings from that kit to others rather than going into each kit and adjusting them one by one. And the same goes for the pad pan options. You can change the pan settings on one kit to match your setup and then use the copy menu to transfer this to other kits rather than menu diving on every single kit. The third option on this page is the ambience option. If you happen to like the ambience settings on a particular kit and you want to recreate that on another, you can use this menu to do that quickly. It copies all of the ambiences together. And then there's the MFX copy setting. If you want to copy the multi effects from one kit to another, you can do this here. And handily on this menu, you can copy either all of the multi effects settings in one go, or you can choose to copy just MFX 1, 2, or 3. And all four of the options on this second page of the copy menu are applied at a kit wide level. So there's no individual pad copy functions for these but they're still useful features to have access to. You can also use the exchange function on these copy menus and once again you can copy directly from the preset or the SD card memories. The final page of the copy menu has copy functions for trigger banks and rec data. The trigger bank copy function is useful if you've got a couple of different pad setups that share some similarities. So if you've dialed in your pad settings and you want to swap a few pads out you can copy the trigger bank to another slot, keep the settings that you want and only adjust the settings for those particular pads and then swap back to the original bank if you change your pad setup back. Or you could use this to pull trigger banks directly from the preset memory or from an older module backup on your SD card if you wanted to. So that's really handy if you've messed with the settings a lot and you want to revert them to factory settings or if you've done a factory reset and you want to restore your old trigger settings without loading your entire backup. And then the rec data function lets you make copies of any performance data that you've saved in either the temporary internal memory or on your SD card. Card. This isn't something that I really use often but if you do then it could be really handy. Did you know that you could copy all of these settings individually or have you been doing sloppy workarounds for them like I did for the first few months of using my TD50? Let me know down in the comments and pop a like on the video if you found it useful. Don't forget to check out my store over at theedrunworkshop.com if you do want new kits for your module. You can use any of these copy functions on those kits to mix and match your settings or instruments to truly personalise your kits. Above all, as always, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!